Hey guys, we're back at Chicago Association Hotel and this time it's a different room that we're going. It's a Founder Suite. It's one of their best suites here. It's very huge, it's very large and it's one of the iconic because it's only a limited number of suites in the whole hotel and it has like cool features. So come join me and let's see and let's give a tour. It's kind of like very private here if you see it like from the hallway coming from the elevator. So don't look at it, I'm just kidding. So we're here at 327. We're gonna open this. Wait, what happened now? Oh, there you go. It happens, you know, it's a vintage hotel. So come in, welcome, welcome. So once you come in, I mean, for sure you can see already behind me, it's a very, very large, kind of like, I would say living room or a library, if you might say. There's like steps here, so be careful. Um, so they have vintage, just like for sure been like in the Eden hundreds or something, just like very collectibles. You have trains, you have books right here. Um, obviously you can see from now there's a fireplace. It's a working fireplace, but it, it's in the summer right now, so we didn't ask to um, have this um, light up, and it's, it's all good, um, but it's really, really cool. Before we go to that side, let's go first to the right side. When you turn right on from the door, you'll see this um, mirror right here with the umbrellas. This is their staple. Um, on the last junior suite that we stayed, I think they have black umbrella, if I'm not mistaken, but this time it's white. Um, if you come here, this is um, a nicer um, bathroom, if I must say, because the last time um, we stayed here, we stayed in a junior suite. And the shower is kind of like attached or the shower is like here in the tub, so it's not separate. But this time, their founder's room is separate. So they have still their beautiful marble um, tub right here, all this like soap, um, shampoo, and conditioner. And here on the on the right is their freestanding rainfall shower, um, shower, you know, shower, shower space. So it's different. And it's really nice because you can shower and then whatever's like, you know, from your body is not going directly to the top. You know what I mean? Anyway, on this side, obviously, you can close this for privacy. Somebody can take a shower and you can also like, probably do your thing, you know, on the, uh, on the <clears throat> toilet. Anyway, so that's really cool. Um, by the way, if you can see this, um, this is like a devil's or demon, devil's face. And this is one out of, I think I've seen three or four or five in this room under this feet. So I'm going to show you while we go to um, go around. So from the bathroom, <clears throat> from the bathroom, well, you can see right now, like it's connected. This is a big ass um, living room. And then we have one um, fireplace here and we have another fireplace. So there's not one, but two fireplaces. And if you um, be careful in the steps, and right here is the usual um, kind of like uh, thing that they have for every suite. They have the mini fridge, um, they have like the ice bucket, small kind of like library, uh, not no library, I mean like a small like compartment here where maybe you can put your alcohol or liquor, and then this is your closet, same safe, the usual. And one of the things I love about this is like they're kind of like their boxing robes, kind of like it says um, featherweight, waterweight, and heavyweight. So it's one size fits all, though. So it's really cool. It's one of the things that I love about um, this hotel. Um, obviously, on your right, I mean, on my right here is our king size bed, which I love as always. It's very comfortable. I know how. Big feel. Wait one second. Why is this not turned on? Um, let's figure out where's the. I'll turn sure this later. It's not super important. But anyway, um, we have still like the really big TV right here. It's really nice. And as usual, we have like the books and the train collectibles, if I must say. It's really nice and. I love this because it's a blackout curtain, which I love because I usually love to sleep in. But if you open it, we have the ready drum rolls. <laughs> it's not like as bad as it should be, 
but we have still the view of Michigan Avenue. Right here, if you can see, there's a lot of tourists. Um, by the way, today is the 4th of July. Happy 4th of July to all Americans. And this one, as you can see here, is the bean. And what's great about this is you can open this actually for fresh air. So come look and see um, the bean right here on your left. That's the famous cow gate or the bean of Chicago. I think the the thing I think what the good the, the, what's the good thing about this is that you can open it for fresh air or I mean I don't really recommend it for smoking because you're not allowed to smoke, but I don't know, you know, if you can like make your way out of like making the smoke out of and the wind, so it's really good. So I think this is it. Um, oh these are the other um, Devil's face that is like really etched here um, in the on the design. Um, this is this has been here like oh it's since back in in when it, this whole building was built. It's like four of them. There's one here as well. I think there's two for every part place. Right here and right here. Um, I love the also the aesthetic of this. There's a lot of like woodworks if you can see and. It has like really that vintage um, feel and vibe to it. Anyway, um, I love, we love this suite and as usual, we usually only stay here for one night, but as per experience, we usually extend every single time. I don't know what's with this hotel, but I feel like we always extend. So um, anyway, let's go back and watch your step. And this is it. This is our whole suite. And thanks for joining me again. Cheers.